These are dark days, I fear. The North Grove must never be lost. You're sending him to the war? The boy's done nothing wrong! The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Duncan, I've decided to name you as my sentinel. I'm just worried about my family. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. Are you willing to risk an alliance with the crown? I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion, but it's a risk I cannot afford. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Rasher. We don't want White Hill men within these walls. You can be my highborn ward. My lord, if you want a hostage, take me. Uh, uh, Ethan. Uh, no. Don't let them take uh, me. Uh, uh, oh, my Whoa, it's just me, Besker. <sighs> Took you long enough. Here I go. Getting warm. Or warmer, I should say. You can stop pacing. They'll this be stuff is soon. weak compared to Northern Ale. Is that wine? Or blood? Taste it and find out. It's blood. <laughs> nice having the place to ourselves, though. Beska, it is from us. Fragrant. Looks like we weren't the first to rough up the place. Forrester brings his axe all the way to Essos. Wicked little thing, though. I know, I know. Woman sellsword. Four years fighting by your side and you still can't get over it. Come on, Asha. Quit staring. Let's get to drinking. Ale. It goes in yellow, comes out yellow. Waste time even drinking it, if you ask me. Considering we found it in an abandoned tavern, it's not bad. They smell off to you. It's the only thing in Yunkai that doesn't. I know. It's a filthy haven for thieves, murderers, and other deadly bastards. You should feel right at home. I know I do. May we drink, thieve, and fight until the end. You know, I'm not really a bastard. But you're my kind of bastard. It's half the reason we're friends. Another round?
Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Go see if he's still breathing. How's he doing? We need him alive to collect his bounty. And after that... Remind me again, what's this fat pig fucker's name? Bazak Zog... Something or other. Don't care, really. So long as we get our gold. Eight hundred gold dragons for capturing him. Lucky we caught him trying to flee Yunkai. Lucky for us. Not so lucky for him. We should find more former slave masters with bounties on their heads. I don't need any more naked fat men in my life, thank you. <laughs> they say only the poor know how to really spend money. We'll buy the finest wines, the best whores. Sleep in a bed without fleas? Sounds nice, doesn't it? Who needs the best whores when the bad ones are so much more fun? I knew I liked you for a reason. My point is, with enough coin we could do anything. Go anywhere. I could afford passage back to Westeros. To Ironrath. I've heard nothing from my family in years. You mean go home? They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Gwyn. A man doesn't choose who he loves. Your family should understand that. Westeros and its bloody houses. Who fucking cares? It's all an excuse to tell everyone else what to do. It's not that simple. In the North, these feuds run deep. Oh, fuck the North. We have a good thing here. And any moment now, we're gonna be rich. Let's make a toast. To all of us deadly bastards. To 800 gold dragons in our pocket. Well said. Veske, I thought freed slaves put the bounty on Bazak. They did. With his own gold. So why are the fucking Lost Legion here? Oh, is that Tazal? From the Volantis job? Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again! Tazal! Isn't it funny how life brings all friends together? I'd cut your fucking throats! Tavern's closed. What are you doing here? Where is he? Where's who? Here. 400 dragons. They must be working for the Wise Masters. And that's all you're getting. The bounty is 800. You get four. It's more than you deserve. Give us 800 and you can have him. Don't be an asshole now. We're all sell swords here. We are nothing like you. The Lost Legion are the blood of all Valeria. And we are done taking orders from whimpering pigs. Bloody hell! And we're done with you too. La da diri sonbasi. Do ebi me. Calm down, Tizal. We can still work out a deal. You two are going to be useful to me for once. Not bloody likely. The wise masters will hear how Asha Forrester kidnapped the venerable Bezak. How he wouldn't take less than 800 gold dragons. So he killed Bezak instead. Me? Luckily, we were there to deliver swift justice. So you steal the money and we get the blame. Ponte os en as! Bojos me nomi jahos If you're that eager to die... Get down! All right, who dies first? Who wants to dance at the end of my sword? Kill them! Now! No one's more like... Here's one! Come on! She couldn't pass me! She couldn't 
surpass me! <laughs> to be the all. This reminds me of <laughs> that brothel in Novos. You kill me, and the Lost Legion won't stop until you and your friend are dead. Way. We need to go. Come on. Malcolm. Damn. We have to keep moving. Malcolm, stop. Asher, I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. What are you doing here? Your brother Ethan sent me. I'm here to bring you home.
Foresters. Turtle is so fucking far away. That's far enough. I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly types from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Royland. You again. <laughs> Have you got this time? Some poor peasant dressed up like a lord. A slave in his bannerman's clothes. You did this at Duskendale. And you have the fucking stones to try it again. No, I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men. And you dare come here claiming to have Forrester dead. They're Forrester. <sighs> Look at the colors. Lee. <laughs> now. Fine. I'll dump them in the river then. <sighs> you come back here again, you won't be leaving. You got that? I, I heard you. That was a sheep fucker. <clears throat> I'm sorry, sir. I don't worry you, sir. <laughs> Seven hours. <laughs> what is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there? Who are you? It's me. Roderick. Roderick? Roderick. By the gods, it is you! Sir? Fetch the maester! Hurry! Fetch the maester! Roderick! should not be awake. The milk of the poppy. Drink. Come now. That's it. Roderick! My lady! No. I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. Let him... Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No. Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, he may never walk again. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet.
Talia. Good to see you again. Roderick, thank the gods. Brother, I thought oh, I lost oh. you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm fine. Don't worry. You don't look fine. How bad is it? <laughs> Maestor Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face. These wounds will heal, Talia. I know. You'll be your old self before we know it. Roderick, there's something you need to know. Ethan is dead. Ethan? Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan offered to go in my place. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan? We'll make Ramsay pay for what he did. I promise. Good. We're planning to honor Ethan in the Grove, alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. No tears. You're stronger than that. It's been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lord. You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. I know you still need time to heal, but... I'll be fine, Talia. The Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. Only one way to find out. I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. I know you can. Roderick! I'm fine. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I don't care about that. Let them see me. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. Thank you, Talia. Ready? That's it. <clears throat> Everyone will be so glad to see you up. Though, I think you'll find that much has changed.
that's all black. So this is... Is the seat of the night's watch. The wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Recruits at the gate! Is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. Built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. Aye, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. 
Frostfinger. He's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. Like a girl, a wildling girl, maybe. Huh? It's warm. What's in these barrels? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall, and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Garrett Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Garrett Tuttle of Ironrath. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You thief. A raper. I killed a man who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle. Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes. Sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay, so Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart, <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat his shit. The White Hill soldiers are <laughs> drunk again, <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Well, I say he's dead, and they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring us some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> Had a run-in with Walder Frey, did you? And he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Forrest's Real cursed. shame about your leg, right, give us a toss. Don't let go of your sister now. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> go round. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me.
I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house? My men may be few, but they'll die before you keep me from my hole. Go on then, my lord. Ridiculous. You're treating them like guests. The wine keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Roderick. My boy. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good... <clears throat> it's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lord, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay stole I've told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead, and Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took deep with Mott. Halsey's Helliver, Grayson and Brownborough were all slaughtered at the Twins. And the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! Troll, the coming to Ironrath. Yes, my son. A raven arrived this morning. Lady Elena is eager to see you. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground. Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. Talia does have a point. I'm not the man I used to be. You can still make her happy, Roderick. And she can do the same for you. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Keep them drunk. It's better than inciting them to violence. Yes, my lord. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. 
Welcome back, my lord. It's good to be back. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him and Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started howling. But thank you. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. You and the children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Mira. And the seal. Here you are. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asked that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. She's not entirely wrong. 
A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter... I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited... Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard? Oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. Go ahead, then. Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with them? I've got them. Today, isn't it? Seems to keep getting colder. They say it'll be a short autumn. Oi, fuckhead! You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. I think we'll get along fine. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the Night's Watch, 
Listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected over 8,000 years why? ago. To defend the realm That this girl I used to fuck now and again. Walkers, Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordling. He tried to stick me with this. I'll stuck it in him instead. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what diachrome are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? Potatoes? What are you talking about? I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cotter. Cotter the Potato Thief. There's one for the songs. Oi. My si sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Will you stop arguing? Who in seven hells is talking back there? Total. Who was it? Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you... Frostfinger. I need a word. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. No! Here we go. Again. Bows up. See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. You've had an assault. Castle Black. So this is home now. To sword. This one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Keep at it.
well fought. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. Doing that all wrong. Well, we don't have these. We're at. Ah! Oh, <laughs> Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. All right. Let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt. Left target, head. Good. Right target, chest. That was way off the mark. Center, between the eyes. Stop daydreaming. Missed a few, but uh, well done overall. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him... Ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took these. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. Give it back to him, Cotter. Are you mad? That's the last thing I'll do. Tuttle. That's the door to the mess hall. Wish they'd serve up more than stew. Tuttle, I gave you orders. So what are you doing up here? I'm curious. How did you lose your fingers? You're curious, are you? Are you curious what it's like inside an ice cell? No, sir. Didn't think so. Now, if there's nothing else you need... Sir, have you heard of the North Grove? Of course I've heard of it. Just like I've heard of snarks, grumpkins, and children of the fucking forest. It's all horse shit. I've answered your questions. 
So why are you still standing here? I want to know when I'll be taking my vows. You arrived yesterday, Tull. Worry about me, not your vows. Sorry, sir. I'll get back to work. The place is falling apart. Maybe they need more builders. Oh, it's bloody cold up here. Can't wander off now. Not a frost finger watching. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. Right. I can do this. Want some help? yourself Tuttle. Uh. Uh. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing isn't frozen off. Fuck off, Finn. Bloody ass. Mind your language, Garrett. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. Maybe someone stole it. Who the fuck would have... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. Give me my knife! I don't have it, I swear! Out of my way! Got it! Do something! Let's stop it! Before some. I won't say it again. Step the fuck aside! If you ever hit me again, I swear I'll. There they go again. Get off! What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife! No, I didn't. And Garrett defended him. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. Sir, Not I... Not another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger. I need another man to top the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Mind your fucking manners. 
You, come with me. This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie? You're right. It's beautiful here. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Come on, sit down. Where did you get that? I know a boy who keeps the Queen's cellar well stocked. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. A little won't hurt. <sighs> Suit yourself then. So, I, uh... Well... I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you. Sarah, just tell me. All right, fine. Just please, keep it a secret. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But to always have to hide. I don't want to hide from you as well. What of your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. Who else knows about this? Lady Marjorie. Her grandmother. And now you. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might... suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Of course, Sarah. Thank you, Mira. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Here I am, talking about myself. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. You sure you won't have any? You look like you could use a drink. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion. My lord. Ladies? What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. We're just enjoying the sunshine. Is that what they're calling wine these days? Not the finest arbor red but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. 
I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. We found it. Found it? Where? In that bush. Lord Tyrion. Strange it should find its way into a bush. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. Yet you're worried about an alliance with me? You need to know what risks are worth taking. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped swords, I will speak for House Forrester. Perhaps you could. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. That's a private matter, my lords. Foresters have nothing to offer, my lord. If you want Ironwood, you'll have to deal with the White Hills. Andros. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss You us? can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. There's no need to make threats. You have no idea. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. Help me stop the White Hills. Well, the quickest way to strangle your enemy is with his own purse strings. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or... You'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? Then that's a risk I'll have to take. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. I need more than that.
I'll have an answer for you soon enough. We have an understanding then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. My lady. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You're coming with us, then? If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of sellsorts. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? Beska can lead them. What? She's stronger than most knights in Westeros. This is your fight, Asha. Your family. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? We didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. Right. Well, this mother of dragons and her sellswords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Ponte Renas! Don't guy in a Josie but tag on Costotti Taor. Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter.
Everything's still here. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Was someone going through my books? Why would someone do this? I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. There. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be f Fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a... Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir... That was never in question. Of, of course not. I just meant... Enough, Maester. When last we spoke of Elena, you seemed unsure how she might... feel about you. You just have to show her that you're still the man she knew. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here. Roderick? You look. I know, I'm unspeakably handsome. I see you haven't lost your sense of humor. <laughs> no, just two limbs and half a face. <laughs> Please.
So, here we are. I'm glad to see you up and about. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I want to know what you're going through. Honestly, I feel fine. I may not look pretty, but... I'm still myself. I'm sure it's worse than that. I know you too well. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You're always in behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But, Roderick... I, um... I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with drunken soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? Trust me, they won't be here long. That wasn't an answer. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family... I... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly... I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were, and I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. You and I can overcome anything. I once thought so too. <sighs> but I have to be practical. Lena. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Even for you. Because I love you, Elena. Roderick. I wish that was enough. I'm sorry. But I have to think of my family. I'm going to tell father the betrothal is off. If it helps, we can delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs in order. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but so, he... So, the rumors are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore... You're not still marrying into this wretched family. My father has not yet made a decision. Well, for what it's worth, you can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. Get out. Now. How rude of you. Your mother's the one who invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral, but I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. If you've hurt Ryan in any way... Spare me the threats, Roderick. He's fine. I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. But now I hear you're threatening them and keeping them dull on wine. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lord, enough of this. I do not have to obey. See? That's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. 
Sure. Here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was so self-righteous, it made me sick. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral... Sure, Lady Elena, you respect your betters. Kneel. And kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing. And we'll get to see Ryan again. I'm not kissing your ring. Do what you must. Fine. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, please. And because of your defiance, I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsey do that. Ramsay Snow I know said... what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. We will not stand for this. What are you gonna do? Bludgeon me with a walking stick? <laughs> well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Oh, by the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. Isn't that clever? He's always been a brute. I'm just glad you didn't submit to him. You'd put your pride ahead of your family. What's poor Ryan going to think? That we've abandoned him? I won't bow to Lord Whitehill. And now your brother will pay the price. My lord, are you well? Seven fucking hours. You can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. You might be right. He said worse about me. He said... You fought for the North, with the Foresters. You were there, at the Twins. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? The men were too drunk to draw their swords. The phrase cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Your brother would have won the North's freedom. He deserved to be king. He was good at it. He was good at everything. Now the phrase command River Run, and the Boltons are wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought.
My place is here, with the Night's Watch. There are those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor. Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. I don't care if they hate me. Let them think what they like. Ignoring them won't be as easy as you think. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. Oh. I felt the same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? To find the North Grove. The North Grove? <laughs> You're serious? Old Nan used to tell us a tale about ice dragons and trees tall as the sky. Why would you want to find the North Grove? Why does it matter to you? It's important to House Forrester. Better keep that to yourself. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here, where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand Wardens. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. I'm here. Where are you? <gasps> Where do you think oh. you're going? this time of night. I was just headed back to my room. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Do you know what this uniform means? It means you serve the Lannisters. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now. If you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Is there no way I can change your mind? Did you not hear me? At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yes, sir. Enjoy your night. I hope he wasn't bothering you, my lady. 
I'm Damien. Thank you, Damien. It was my pleasure. You got my note. That was you. I'm very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Did you search my room? What were you looking for? Nothing, Lady Mira. I only wish to leave you a note. I am sorry about this, Mira. But you've made enemies of the wrong people. A handmaiden should know her place. What? What are you talking about? I'll make this quick if that helps. I'd hate to see you suffer. tried to kill me. Why would you do that? What are you doing here? I heard yelling. You did what you had to do, Lady Mira. You had no choice. I need to get back. Someone might see me. I'll take care of him. I know a few places in Fleabot. No one will ever find him. Don't tell anyone. I won't. Everything all right, sir? <gasps> Damien, where are you? What's Gwyn Whitehill doing here? No idea. Hello, Roderick. Sir Ryland. It's been a while since we've met. Yes. Last time I saw you, you and my brother had almost started a war. Your father wanted to murder Asher for your little love affair, remember? That was a long time ago. May we speak privately? My lady. Roderick, I came here because I know how hard these past few days must have been for you and your family. I know my words probably mean nothing to you, but they're all I have. Thank you, Gwyn. I'm so sorry, Roderick. Your brother didn't deserve this. Neither of them did. Listen, I know my father is intent on using Ryan as a hostage. But I think you deserve some news of him. I know it's little consolation. But if I can offer you this... So you have news of Ryan? Yes. He's well. Not happy, but... Just know your brother is safe at High Point. I'm looking after him, but... What? The other day he said something that made me worry. He asked me if his father died... ...because he was a coward. He asked if he was really a thief and a traitor like my father says. I don't wish to upset you, but... 
Brian is strong-willed, like father was. He will not bend. I'm sure you're right. But he feels forgotten. Alone. He's waiting for his family, but every day my father tells him they will never come. That they've chosen their pride over him. I will get him back. He'll be with his family again. You tell him that. Of course. But if you truly want to bring Ryan home, this war has to end. You know that. We don't have to be enemies, Roderick. Hello, Gwyn. It's good to see you, Talia. I hope I can count on your discretion. Roderick, you should speak to Mother. Mother, come join the others. He should be here. He should be with his family, but instead they send her. Gwyn may be able to help us. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one, but his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell, saw our lands destroyed, everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house! Our family is strong, Mother. We will not fall. Many men are strong, and still the night takes them. You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds, no matter what, you must do it. Promise me. I will kill anyone who stands in my way. I will do whatever it takes. Remember that. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett. They all stand with us. We are strong. Yes. I suppose we have to be. Would you say a few words, my lord? Father, he, he was everything. Everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me what it is to be a lord. He was always honorable. I never knew Burma. And I am. I am sorry. I love you, Father. Ethan, my little brother. When I left, he was just a boy. But when his house needed him, he rose to the task, like a lord. He would have been proud. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester, my husband. My love, and our Lord Ethan, <laughs> my sweet little boy. <laughs> but now is time to say goodbye. Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice, and from their sacrifice, new life begins. Iron from ice.
from highs, from highs, we forced us born to eyes, we all return. Father, brother, I've sworn, I've sworn to guard this rest you've earned. I'd bear my neck to win in pain and swim the shivering sea. Pain savers play in crimson rains to bring Ethan back to me. His short the bastard's breath. Take me as hostage, oh my lord, he saved us all from death. Fight on, fight on. going on? Roderick, you have to do something. Lord Whitehill's son has arrived. Griff Whitehill means to torment us. Nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Form up and follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuttle. Time to start proving you're a brother. Oh, the things we do for family. I wonder sometimes if it's worth it, all the sacrifices. Enjoy the wedding. How much further to Marine? A few days. If the Lost Legion doesn't catch up to us first. No. I overheard a couple of men whispering about the Lannister Guard. They're questioning people. Is there anything else we need to be worried about? What was that? From highs, from highs, we forced us both.